Well, kia ora, and welcome back to another wet winter's day in New Zealand, or our part of New Zealand anyway. It's turned to crap today, we had a lovely week and it's turned to crap. Now, a wee while ago, I was looking through the cupboards at work, and, and I came across three bodies, which I've not seen for a long, long, long time. Three Canon EOS 1N bodies. And they're all looking used, but pretty good condition actually. So I thought, right, I'll, uh, I'll see the boss, take one of these home, clean it up, have a play with it, and uh, take it out for a spin sometime. Well, that sometime is today. Now, I'm not going to go into major details about the Canon EOS 1N. It's a 35mm SLR, introduced in 1994, discontinued in the year 2000, when it was replaced or superseded by the Canon EOS 1V. I've, I've not even looked at that, I don't know what the difference is between the two. This is the one we've got, this is the one we're going to use. Now this particular body came with a power drive booster E1. Basically a battery grip where you can chuck more batteries in. This one takes 8 AA batteries and that will allow you to shoot up to 6 frames a second which uh, back in 94 was pretty impressive I would suggest. It was actually Canon's professional flagship camera at the time. So while I'm digging away as well through the, uh, through the works back catalogue of equipment I came across the old original 300mm 2.8 lens that we've got. This thing is hammered. I started the paper in 2004 and this lens was already hammered then. So uh, it's now 2023. I can't remember using this particular lens for at least eight years because we got a uh, we got a new version of the 300 2.8. So I've been using that. Um, the, these lenses last forever. I just remember on the old lens it was starting, the contacts were starting to wear down so every now and then you get the the error of death message coming up and uh, it was a loss of contact between the camera and the body so uh, so I've dragged that along as well because I think it's quite fitting it's an old school camera, old school lens, chuck them together, shit weather, old school rugby we're going to and uh, we'll just try and make a few photographs uh, the, now the one thing I've not checked and it's in the back of the van here I've not checked what film I've got, I know I've got some ISO 100 film that's not going to be much good on a dull day like this shooting sport so I'm hoping I've got at least one roll of 400 in there I can push it one or two stops and see how we go if we've got a roll of 100 in there then I might just push that to ISO 400 and see, see how it goes from there uh, and that's it guys so uh, nothing else I can tell you about this camera I've given it a clean up this morning yeah, it looks like new actually it's pretty cool thrown some batteries in everything looks to be operational and uh, I'm looking forward to getting out in the wet and the mud and the dirt, getting soaked and hopefully coming back with 36 frames of something. Now the place we're going to is a place called Tikakino and the rugby club we're going to photograph is a, a combination of two villages, the village of Tikakino and Onga Onga villages and they combine to form the Onga Tiko Rugby Club. They're called semi-final so it's the young lads playing, playing a team from Napier I believe. So uh, it's, it's going to be quite uh, full of energy and uh, enthusiasm and mud and guts and I reckon that's what it's going to be. It is unfortunately taking me a little bit longer to get this way. A few weeks ago in another bloody flood, part of the bridge washed away. So unfortunately until the bridge is repaired, that's closed. So we're having to do a bit of a detour, a bit of a tiki tour around to get to Tiki Kino. A tiki tour to Tiki Kino. How good's that? The simplest of an end that we miss can see. As though we ruined when we don't need to be, where the river still runs deep, even though there's an ocean under your feet. So we lose it now, my So, unfortunately, films I've got Ilford FP4, Rolli, RPX 100. On opening the box of Ilford FP4 Plus, it's empty. I must have used it, so there's nothing there. So it looks like plan B, roll I, RPX 100, push to 400. Oh, frame number one. Now to set the ISO to 400. Oh, 
not the greatest conditions in the world is it? Trying to hold a brolly that's absolutely knackered. Trying to hold a camera. <sighs> Trying to shoot a match. Six frames a second. The autofocus I've found. <laughs> it's 1994 standard. <laughs> it's pretty slow. But, but we'll try, we'll try. <laughs> Despite the conditions, I'm enjoying it. Thank you. So, 36 frames. I know for sure, for a guarantee, there's half a dozen of them that are shite. <laughs> Out of focus. I started off the match around about maybe 1200th of a second. Short speed, which was fine. By the end of the match, I was down to 160th. <laughs> Bit hard going. Also, with the autofocus, obviously, the muddier the players got, there was no contrast. It was just all a muddy mess. And the, uh, and the camera lost focus quite, uh, quite easily. And unfortunately, once it had lost focus, the moment's gone. I had to sort of reset and focus on something else. Something that, uh, maybe some legs or some arms, or a fresh player that's just gone to the park. Clean gear, bit of contrast. But other than that, for all the mud and the mess and the murk, I quite enjoyed that. So we're off now, steady drive back to base. Let's get this film developed and see what, if anything, decent we've got. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite, they feeling I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in fake Believe in ceilings, I just need a taste And my mind starts peeling I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling Got lust for change, I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb Creeping up from 
from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite, they feeling I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in faith, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste and my mind starts peeling I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling Got lust for change, I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb Probably uh, the best part of the week, I'm guessing, waiting for the new year, the new year to come back.